Welcome back to Shalise Bakes Cakes. I'm excited you're here on our Frosting Friday. Today I'm going to show you a fun technique using stencils. You can achieve stencils on your cake by using buttercream or today we are using edible paint. I'll use the technique with the buttercream in an upcoming video so watch for that but today we're going to just do the paint. We're going to make fun stencils on our cake. Make sure to achieve your stencils that you have a chilled cake. It needs to be in the freezer and you'll be able to touch your cake with no buttercream coming off. That is a good temperature for a cake when you want to place your stencils on it. We don't want to pull the stencil off of your cake and then pull some buttercream and ruin your stencil look. So make sure your cake is really chilled for this process. Okay, I'm excited to walk you through this today and let's get started guys. To make our gold paint, you can use the Sweet Six kind today. I'm actually gonna make my own. I just got this off Amazon. It's just some gold highlighter. So we're gonna put it in right here, a little bowl. You put as much as you want. And then I just hit it with a little bit of lemon extract and this will make it shine. Don't use too much of it because you really don't need a lot. And we're just gonna kind of mix it together and you can see how shiny and fun it turns. This is what we're gonna be using to paint our stencil wall today. All right, nice and shiny. Okay, to achieve the stencil look, we just push, I'm not gonna cover the whole cake in stencils, so I'm just gonna push a little bit in the part that I want to be stenciled, and then I'm gonna get a little bit of paint. Don't get a lot of paint, because you don't want it to bleed through. I'm just gonna lightly paint. I kind of want the lighter gold look, so I'm not filling it in super. Just kind of want a little, a little stencil look. So that's kind of what we're going for here. With our stencils together. Okay, now I've got the look that I feel like I want. We're gonna pull it right off. And there we go, we've got some stencils. As you can see, sometimes it gets your buttercream, but you can always fix it. Just make sure to be careful with it. about whatever you feel you like when you go for the stenciling. I liked the little swipes of gold a little bit better, so I filled some of my stenciling in with that, but I kept it, so it's kind of an abstract look today. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's fun. You can do whatever you want with your stencils. That is the beauty of cake making and stenciling. It just goes and you kind of figure it out as you go, at least I do. If you're gonna stencil more, uh, a lot of stencils on your cake. Make sure that you stencil and then put it back in the freezer for five to 10 minutes. Stencil, back in the freezer, stencil, back in the freezer. It'll keep your buttercream intact and your stencils looking beautiful. Thank you for following along here today. I hope you enjoyed Frosting Friday here at Chili's Bakes Cakes. Follow me on Instagram at Chili's Bakes Cakes and make sure and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna finish this cake up guys, so have fun watching.